Hi, this is Eric from Studio 164A. I'm going to show you how to set up a new sticker for your WordPress website using Jane's sticker for WordPress. This is the theme I'm using for this demo, uh, which is the responsive theme, and I'm just going to get the new sticker going right below this navigation area here. So, if you've purchased the plugin and you've got it installed, you'll under settings you'll see the Jane new sticker um, option. So let's go ahead and click create new sticker. Now, there's a few options here. Internal title is just what we're going to call our um, new sticker sort of for our purposes. So this isn't going to be seen by anyone else. So we're just going to call this below navigation so that we know what the purpose of it is. Um, title on ticker. We're going to show our most recent tweets, so we're just going to say that. Tweets. Um, it's three different animation options. Fade, scroll, and reveal. We're going to go scroll, um, and we are going to display the controls, start the animation automatically, yeah, and yeah, we're going to sort by sort by date posted, so it's going to show the most recent tweets first, and we do want it to pause, we do want it to stop scrolling when we're hovering, okay, then there's a few scroll specific animation settings, so we're just going to leave these at the default, feel free to play around with these and um, you know, test that and get it just the way you want it. I'm going to look at data sources now. They're, this is critical. Basically, this is where you actually get your um, news items from. So you can either just type your own, which is freeform news item. You can use your recent posts or your recent posts from custom post type, um, your recent comments, um, an RSS feed or multiple RSS feeds or a Facebook page or again multiple Facebook page pages or you can use your Twitter feed which is what we're going to use here and you can also actually do multiple twi uh, Twitter accounts but we're just going to do one for today um, so we're going to do studio 164a that's our Twitter account include retweets yep uh, include replies no we're not going to do that we're going to show five tweets that sounds back right. Length of episode, let's limit that down to 10 and let's set it up so that it's showing um, caching tweets for about five minutes, which is really to be recommended if you're not tweeting that often. Um, formatting, this is, this is critical. This is basically has a whole bunch of variables in there which are going to be replaced with the content from the, from the tweet. Um, so you can display your excerpt here, which is what we want, and then it's going to say, post it on, this is a link to Twitter, but a link to the actual individual tweet. So if we want to change that to a link to the profile, then we'll just change that to profile link. And finally, it's going to say time ago, which is the amount of time since the tweet was made. Okay, so let's click save new sticker. And we're not going to edit it, but we are going to go back and have a look because this now shows a preview of what it looks like, which, as you can see, it's got the you know the excerpt from the tweet posted on Twitter 29 days ago, and that's going to link you to the actual um, Twitter profile. Okay, now scroll right to the bottom, and you've got an integration section. So there's three integration options. One, you can integrate it. Um, using a widget, which there's instructions here on how to do that. There's also a short code, so you can stick it into a page or a post. But we're going to use our PHP function, because we want it to be sitting below that navigation on every single page. So we're just going to copy this and load up our theme file. Now, this is it, actually, header.php, and we're actually going to stick it right at the bottom here. Click Save, and let's load it up. Oops. And there you go. There's our new sticker. So that's just a really basic example. There's obviously a lot of different options you can do in terms of animations and how you format your news items and what kind of data sources you use. So it's quite flexible, um, but this is just the basics to, to give you a quick demonstration. Hope you enjoyed it.